Hey everybody, welcome back. We are looking at three incredible knives out of a lineup of about five that are coming out very soon in the next couple months from Savivi. Now let's take this one because it's gonna get the best contrast on camera. This is a Savivi knife. More of a traditional slip joint style lock back. It's gorgeous. It's creating lots and lots of hype because it's legit. So you got Micarta blended with carbon fiber, D2 steel, basically a long nail nick, a little bit of a swedge, kind of a clip point going on the blade. And if you can see right up here, the D2 marking just above the bolster. So you got D2 steel. I mean, look at this. You got your full spring bar and everything's smooth. Now this Micarta is textured on this lighter color. I really like it. So backstory, Blade Show West, 2019. Walk in there, Civivi and Wee Knife are set up. They always have prototypes on, on display. Well, they got a case of prototypes with five of these bad mamma jammas lined up. Now this one's a smooth black Micarta as you can see, to carbon fiber. I mean, the pivots, I mean, look at that. Just the details, pivots got branding. You know, the screws are, are set into the scale, so they don't stick much up or stick up much at all. A little tiny bit, but that's because of the contouring. So these are contoured. I don't know if you can see, but they're contoured right through here. And it just makes it smooth in the hand. I have a large glove size hand. All four fingers fit. You can get all the way down. And they're lock. It's a lock back. So it's not going to close on you unless you take your second hand, unlock it, pushing this in, and close it. But the coolest part, even though it's a lock back, it's got a half stop. So pretty springy. As you can see back here, spring bar pops up. So, bravo to Civivi and Wee Knife, but Civivi's putting these out. These are a home run. So, I'm gonna try to collect all of them. They house, so this is like I said, is the smooth black micarta and carbon fiber, which is very traditional style. Kind of a lighter, this is almost like a tan cream colored micarta, which is very popular so far with everyone I've shown it to. Gives a good contrast. And then this one's a similar, rough style micarta like the tan but it's in a in a like a gray color kind of a gray black as you can see with the carbon fiber but all of these are just a 10 in my opinion um super super sharp even for prototypes i mean traditional style is on point so they're coming into the game i was told now i purchased these at blade show west at the end of the show Shout out to Wii and Civi for letting me purchase these. I was kind of bummed because they have a green color Micarta that is just amazing looking. And one of the vendors picked it up before I did. So shout out to the vendor who got it. Yay, that's awesome. I'm gonna try to get one myself and also fill in the other collection because uh, I got a couple buddies that I'm gonna make sure to get one of these. So also with each of them comes a leather Civivi branded, it's stamped into the little pouch here. Pocket clip sheath. So, deep carry clip. I mean, what else can you ask for? I mean, throw this bad boy in there. You can put it in your pocket. I mean, I'm sure you could pop this, take this off if you just want, you know, something to throw in your pocket and you don't want a pocket clip, but this even has a pocket clip, so. You can put it in your bag, you can put it on your belt, you can put it in your front pocket, you know, and just stick it in that way. This this is a home run in my opinion. So they're coming out of the gate swinging, you know. They're like, hey, we want into this slip joint market and we want in good. And they're putting some effort into it. So pretty cool overall. Um, but let's look at some comparisons. So I'm gonna move these off to the side and we're gonna look at a couple size comparisons really quick with this one. So overall blade length, let's line this up first. 
you got one, two, three, about almost three inches, so maybe 2.9 blade length on this Civivi. Uh, overall handle length, you know, you're looking at three and three quarters handle length. Uh, you know, as long as you're measuring straight across. Overall length, you're looking at, well, this kind of goes, let's put it up here. So it's lined up with the four here. You're going to six and three quarters about overall length. I, you know, it just fits every category. So it's keeping it under that, you know, three inch blade length limit that a lot of places have. It is a lock back. So, you know, when you start going overseas, it might not be as legit, but let's compare it to a couple knives and see some comparisons and then we'll get a weight on these. Uh, here's with your Spyderco Para 3. I have to make a little more room here, so I'll move this up. Let's move this up right there. Spyderco Para 3. So, pretty comparable. I mean, you're losing a little bit of grip through here in the handle, and you don't have a forward choil, but you don't need it with those because it's a lockback. So, fabulous, you guys. Way, way to go. I'm, as you can tell, this is, excites me because I'm really digging it. Um, let's go with the Benchmade Bug Out. Now this one's tricked out a little bit. Uh, Rogue Blade Works, carbon fiber scales, red hardware from the Knife Center Battle Wash Bug Out. So almost comparable in blade length, a smidge longer on the Bug Out, and then just a little bit more handle, another quarter inch or half inch. So. Man, this is going to fit so many daily carries. And I really hope you guys look at these when they come out because I know I've posted some pictures and people are like, man, I want those. When are they coming out? They're on their way. They're making them right now. So they were a hit. I loved it. So like I said, let's do the biggest comparison right here that I think. Now, this is the Benchmade proper. This is the carbon fiber S90V. So you have some premium materials. You got you know, a, maybe a fifth of the scale is carbon fiber on the Civivi. Then it's all Micarta, Contour Micarta. Um, you got all carbon fiber scale here. Some PVD liners on this one. But what? look at the comparison. Now, I don't have my clip point here. Uh, it's out in the Apex Pass Around group. So shout out to the Apex Pass Around for just, you know, being awesome. That's why I put my own knife out there because I wanted other people to experience the clip point carbon fiber proper but you guys can tell it's way it's it's way to go right there you know let's do the other side comparison just so we can see it's going to be pretty similar but you guys know what's up what do you guys think i think that's your best comparison right there it's just the one with the proper you can kind of see the approach it's right in that size but it's locked back so a lot of places a lot of people you know, I know my buddy Patty, uh, shout out Patty Potato Peeler, or Patty Potato Peelers, uh, our buddy from Ireland over there. He's, you know, he took his proper and put in a forward finger choil just because of that. Because you sit there and you say, you know, gosh, he was worried about it coming back. So he wanted a little bit more grip on that blade and he sacrificed a little bit of the cutting material just so he could get that security on there. So it all depends how you want to use your knife, but... A lock back style that's also kind of the slip joint with the nail nick and a half stop. What are your guys' thoughts? Is this a game changer? Is this one that you guys are going to pick up? Like I said, I know I'm going to try to get this one because this one's going out to a buddy of mine. And I'm going to try to get that green one as well because that green McCarter is gorgeous. So anyways, you guys, I hope you guys are doing great. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know what your thoughts are. Take care and do something kind for someone today. Really appreciate your guys' support. Hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to shout out all your friends. Get them signed up because I've got a big giveaway coming. I'm giving back to you guys. So, anyways, thanks for sticking around, watching this video on these three Civivis. When we get an actual model number and I get that green one, I'll probably do an updated video and also about how I've been carrying the one that I kept. So, take care, you guys.